grouping taking place. Arise, take your throne in the midst of other believers. Line up for your crown. There is much to gain at the reward ceremony if you live in the will of God while on earth. Come be renewed. Pick up your cross and follow God. Step aboard the ark of God and be renewed. Arise, mighty warrior, arise. Speak out the word of God and don't let anything stop you. Do not pretend like you don't know God, diminishing the light that is in you. Be bold as a lion, but as innocent as a dove. Talk to God and he shall help you on the path of stepping out. When we follow the call and leading of God, great success comes. Proverbs 16 verse 3 says, Commit your work to to the Lord and your plans will be established. Humble yourself before God and he shall guide your steps. Divine alignment is coming if you obey God's voice. And leading. Shine bright with the help of God, who is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Abide in him like never before, constantly seeking him. Group up with fellow believers and he will be with you. Dwell in the realm of truth. Dwell in the realm of heaven. We are seated with Christ. As Ephesians 2 verse 6 says, Aren't you greater than the birds of the air? Also, isn't greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world? 1 John 4 verse 4. We have potential to do even greater things than Jesus, according to John 14 verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Don't we also have the Holy Spirit to guide us just as Jesus did, who renews us to be conformed to the image of Christ? There's no telling how much potential we have as sons and daughters of God. It could even be eternal, as God is eternal. In fact, it is eternal. I had an encounter yesterday where I heard the words, Witness of the testimony. I asked God what this meant. And he said, I have your back. As sons and daughters of God, he has our backs. In in, In fact, perhaps he has our backs covered with a shield that compasses us about. If God is truly is our shield, shan't we be showcasing his attributes like a shield? As Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Hallelujah.